local school district will pay a record settlement to the family of an eighth grader who died in a bullying incident that happened four years ago. 13-year-old Diego Stoles died from his injuries sustained during a fight at Landmark Middle School. The attorneys representing his family announced that they had reached a $27 million settlement against the Moreno Valley Unified School District. According to the lawsuit, Diego was the frequent target of bullying and the school district failed to protect him. This is now the largest bullying settlement in United States history. David Ring is the attorney for the family. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How's the family doing? Because this, you know, this is a quite the large settlement, but it doesn't bring back their kid. Now, there's no amount of money that they would take to 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 lose their kid. This is a it's been a horrible four years. Um, they're still struggling with it. Diego was their youngest. Uh, he was the baby. Uh, they miss him every single day, every single minute. But really what they wanted to do with this lawsuit, it was a vehicle to bring about change in Diego's memory. And I think they've accomplished that. Uh, this is really, they want schools to start prioritizing their anti-bullying policies. Yeah, the reason, David, we brought you on today is because we think there's a lot that people at home can learn from this, specifically when it comes to, you know, school districts, of course, but also parents who have kids. What can they do? Well, look, a lot of times kids won't tell their parents they're being bullied. So for parents, it's really looking for some telltale signs. Um, but one thing that parents have to do is be aware of what, what are the school's policies. You know, they're usually posted online at the school website. Do they have good policies? Um, and, and what do they do if there's a complaint? How do they investigate? These are all things parents can go look for uh, to find out if this school really has some real policies to prevent bullying and that do the policies have some teeth to them. One of the things that we noted in our introduction to you was that he was the frequent target of bullying on his school site. How many times did the parents go to the administrators and let them know? How many complaints did they file and why did they not do anything? Well, so Diego started to be bullied in seventh grade and his parents did do something. Uh, they learned that he was being bullied. They marched down to that school and they met with administrators and they said they wanted to stop. And they even got to, were given anti-bullying paperwork and this and that. And it didn't stop. And they went down there again and complained again. And the reason uh, going into eighth grade, Diego and his sister, days before he was killed, went into and met with the assistant principal. And Diego said, I'm scared because they just punched me in the back of the head. And they sent him home and said, we're going to do something about this. We're going to suspend these boys. Diego, go home today. It's a Friday. Go home. You're excused from school. Come back Monday. It's all going to be OK. He came back Monday. The school had done nothing. The bullies were still there. They confronted him at lunch and they killed him. My goodness. Horrible. It, it is. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, that said, what happened to the, the two students, if you can tell us, who were implicated in all this? Well, they were, they were 12, 13 years old at the time, and so they were, they were prosecuted in the juvenile court, and juvenile court proceedings are extremely confidential and privileged, and so they were punished. Um, the exact details of the punishment, not really clear because those are confidential by law, uh, but, but they were punished in some way. And from your perspective, what should districts be doing to combat this so we don't have another situation like this? on a school site. Look, I hope, hopefully it's a wake up call for schools across the country. They have to prioritize their anti-bullying programs. They have to prioritize complaints about bullying. You know, every school will tell you, oh, we have a policy in place, and, but it's a lot of lip service. When you really dig deep, the teachers don't know what to do with reports. Um, it's not investigated correctly, and it's it's not given top priority. If this school district had taken <clears throat> Diego's complaint seriously and acted on it the same day they got it, when they said they would, he'd still be alive today. And that's what other schools need to do. They need to make sure that they're protecting kids on school campuses. Do we know why those those two kids were allowed to return back to school even after the, the discussion on suspension? 
Uh, they were not allowed to return back to school. They never returned to that school. Um, I, I, you know, I think they're in high school now, but they never returned to Landmark Middle School. Okay. All right, David. Thank you very much for being with us.